welcome back to another one of my Pandora Charm videos. I hope you're having a wonderful day and are doing well. So for this video, I decided it would be fun to talk about my floating locket that I got from Pandora mm, over a month ago now, definitely almost, probably almost two months now. I've been loving it. I've been finding myself wearing it so often and I'm really, really enjoying it. What I love the most is just, it's just so wearable. You can wear it kind of casual like I am today. You can dress it up for work, for a night out, and it, it just always goes. It's one of those really classic pieces, but it's so easy to, to take the charms out and to arrange them, which I really, really love. Another great thing is that you can adjust the length of the chain. So it comes with a set chain, but it has different positions so you can wear it. This is the longest, which I prefer. I find it elongates me. <laughs> I'm a little bit petite if you didn't know. And then you can also make it go slightly higher or a little shorter, which I've never tried those options. I've just mostly worn it long. So I really love that look of it. Um, do you guys have a floating locket? I'd love to know or see pictures. So comment down below or send me a post on Instagram because I'd love to see. Um, I think it's so neat how you can really customize the petites to match your mood, the weather, the day, the holiday. There's so many options. So I'm really excited to see how you guys style yours if you have one and if you're planning on getting one. <laughs> The one I have is um, the one with the cubic zirconia. I'll kind of talk about it more in the video, which actually I should note for you guys, I actually pre-filmed that footage, you know, maybe like two, three weeks ago now. Um, I had wanted to do an intro, but I just was so busy and I never had time. So you'll notice in this video, the one I'm filming right now, and then that footage is I'm wearing a completely different outfit, different Pandora jewelry. I, actually, I think I'm wearing the same ring though. Um, and yeah, so <laughs> hopefully you don't mind that maybe it'll kind of cool to see kind of different bracelet looks that I'm look wearing. Actually, I'm wearing my Valentine's Day bracelet right now. Um, the pink leather with just um, the ribbon of Hope Burano and then my fairy garden bracelet and my Fitbit. <laughs> so that's the look I'm rocking today. Oh, and then I also have, I don't know if you guys can see them, my princess tiara earrings, which I really love. I should probably do a video about those so you guys can get a nice good look at them as well. Oh, and my nails are different. <laughs> in the video, I think I have my silvery sparkly nails and this one I just have pink sparkle for Valentine's because it's coming up. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, I'll send you off into the floating locket and my thoughts about it. If you guys do have any questions or if you want to know any more information about it, maybe there's something I forgot to cover or something I didn't think of, let me know down below and I'll be happy to reply back to you. guys in a little bit closer so you can take a nice look at it. Um, so basically I'm going to go off the website here and just let you know a little information that they put about it. So it retails for about $155 Canadian. It's called the Sparkling Pandora Floating Locket Medium Sapphire Crystal Glass and Clear Cubic Zirconia. And then it has a nice cute little blurb that says wear your precious memories proudly around your neck with this floating locket. A decorative line of sparkling cubic zirconia stones frame and highlight your petite personal mementos. So it is a very beautiful locket as you can see. Definitely catches the light with that cubic zirconia going around and you do see that sapphire glass as they call it sparkling around. Inside here, um, hopefully you guys can see, I have the angel of hope, the dazzling daisy, and that little shimmer heart which is really pretty. Again, it's very reflective here. So hopefully those details are capturing through for you. This is what I call the Emily Trio. I feel like it really looks like me. Um, just all the things I love and it's all kind of into one. It feels like an everyday look. I mean, obviously my faith with the angel and also makes me think of my sister. The dazzling daisy really makes me think of my mom <laughs> and just also my love of being outside in nature. And that shimmering heart, I just, I love that. And just kind of reminder to relax, take it easy for me with that color. <laughs> love that, so pretty. So I'll show you guys how I go about opening it up. I will remove the chain first. So you'll just slide it through here. Now I'll take my special Pandora, if you can see it, guitar clip here. And I'm gonna open up the locket. Now, if you can kind of see there, if it'll focus for you, they have a little indent near the top. And that's where I'm gonna take my guitar pick. 
to slide it open. It opens so, up so easily like that. Sorry, my nail's a little chipped there. I apologize. <laughs> so once it's open, that's what it looks like. So you can see the nice details again. It, it has its stamp in the inside confirming it's authentic Pandora. And you can see some of the cute little charms. So now I'm going to show you the other petites that I have. So I actually keep my petites right now inside this cute little porcelain Pandora box that one of my charm exclusives had come in. So we open that up and ta -da -da -da, you'll see all the cute petites I have. So I have a Mickey Mouse head, which you've seen, the cute Santa, which you've seen from one of my Christmas videos, the matte star, and that cute little Mickey and Minnie, the little heart with them kissing. It's super adorable and so, so sweet. So we have them all lying around and we can kind of do a different sign concept. So let me just empty those out. Whoops. And let's see, what can we, what kind of look would we want to go for? So I just went ahead and created a cute little look with some of the other petites I have. So I'll lift that up so you guys can see. So I did a cute little Christmas look, again featuring that cute little heart and the star. For Christmas, originally I had the Mickey and Minnie heart inside there, but that looks kind of fun for Christmas. Almost looks like a little bit of snow. So super cute. Love how that looks. And then let's get a little creative again. I'll show you my Disney look that I do. Again, it's so easy to, to open that up there, especially using the guitar pick. So we'll empty those ones out. So Disney will add a star, <laughs> a Mickey, and a Mickey and Minnie. And then that's how it looks with the, my Disney theme right there. So super pretty and sparkly, I love it. <laughs> Now, once that look is all done, you would take the chain and you would just slide that through again. We'll do that. And then there you go. You have a beautiful necklace that's looking quite lovely. One thing that I also really love about having the chain in there, it's, it's that extra protection. So for whatever reason, if this were to open up, it actually can't because the chain blocks it from opening up. I think that's a wonderful design feature and very well thought out to keep, you know, your petites, your petite mementos safe. So I decided to go back to the original design you saw because I had just changed it the other day. I guess it's probably more of a springtime look, but I feel like it's a very Emily appropriate design. So I brought it back to, to that nice style. Anyway, take care you guys. I hope you have a great day. I think it's the weekend when I'm gonna post this, so have a great weekend. Bye.